going, everybody? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to another episode of Real Sensitive Guy Hours. This is episode 44. But before we get into that, and before we introduce our host, we have a guest today. I'm sure everybody here knows them because at this point, the people that watch this podcast are just friends of ours. But <laughs> True. he is only not base. only <laughs> fuck airmen, but he's also the most notorious Team Fortress 2 player of all time. Even the main man, Banny, said that this guy is a dick. The biggest god-tier gameplay to toxicity ratio in Team Fortress 2. Not only Thank that, you. he's banned on Hogwarts RP for the next month. He's banned also on 1942 <laughs> RP for life. The king banned on Halo <laughs> RP for life. They get banned off of the Halo Discord for life. <laughs> the king of slash dry hump on Blockland, Snarkin, <laughs> aka Throwback. Morgan. Everybody, fuck on. Airman, fuck Airman. What's up, folks? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And then up next we have the main, the handsome, the beautiful Oliver Wicke. Is there? He's to my right. What's going on, fam? Will thought you were talking about him. <laughs> we'll get to that. Talking about me, man. We we'll all thought that. he was talking we'll about us. <laughs> <laughs> I think he thought it was Travis. He usually introduces me first. I thought Just it was saying. Trav. I thought Just it was saying. Trav. Trav, I thought it was I'm you. always I'm last, though. We have the man who's cosplaying as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the Malacca himself, <laughs> Travis Stocksdale. <laughs> the Mystios. The Mystios. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle better. <laughs> um, and then, and then, uh, second to last, but definitely not least, <laughs> he will pillage your village. He will slam your muff, William the Conqueror. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How we doing tonight? <laughs> what is this We're talking a great to show, a specific person here. Uh, fuck off. Uh, anyway, and then last but not least, host with the most, the kid with the the, the weirdest ratio of body to dick ratio. Brandon A.K. Spencer Rutten Press. Let's fucking go. Real sensitive guy right. hours. How the fuck wow. is everybody doing, dude? I'm great. Bro, I cannot be better. I'm feeling good, man. Getting a little soft. Straight you know how it is. Yeah, honestly. So we had, we had uh, some craziness in Sue on the last episode. I'm still blowing smoke. Um, we, had a, we had a biddy reach out uh, last week uh, through a comment. It penetrated through the Real Sensitive Guy Hours chat. Um, we found it in the sea of all the other comments we get. We just found this. It, it was crazy. I don't know how we saw it. <laughs> Love um, first sight. It, 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 it was like comments we get on all our videos. Yeah, it was kind of like it was like a like this really just big pimple that you would see on your face, and the sea of just uh, dashes that you have on your skin. Uh, William the Conqueror, can you can you explain of what's happening here today? So what the boys are talking about is on the last episode. Uh, someone commented that, or on episode, I believe it was episode forty-one, is what's uploaded. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Most... I'm sorry. Can we can we cheers real quick? We all have drinky poos. Can we hey, cheers? Hey, hey. We're really fucking <laughs> repping the here, Bud Light. So we've got forty-four, and here's to forty-four more, boys. Let's fucking get. You guys it. sponsored? Here's to fucking fifty-four more. Are you sponsored by Bud Light Seltzer right now? I'm gonna we say fifty-six. I'm gonna say fifty-six, so we can get to a hundred. Let's but, get it. Yeah, yeah, honestly, after the show, Bud Light stock is about to go up after Brandon's post this so hard. This is the one that goes in like hard. five weeks. <laughs> Straight beeswax, one hundred percent. Buy it now. Buy now. Real sensitive guys. Fact. Buy Bud Light. The stock. links in go the description. To, uh, BudLight.com and the use the uh, promo code RSGH. <laughs> use the RSGH. promo code sixty nine sixty nine. Use the promo code Fuck Airman for fifty percent off. <laughs> use, use the code William Lacuncaron. <laughs> <laughs> William will steal your girl and slam her muff for fifty percent off. <laughs> that's a that's a good bargain. That's a good, yeah, wow. <laughs> Damn. wow. Promo wow. code give her the conk. Wow. <laughs> give yeah. her the conk. Oh, yeah. It almost sounds like the conch from SpongeBob. <laughs> my joke. The magic that's conch. That's the best one. Yeah, the my, magic my conch. Dick, that's my nickname for my cock. He now said the joke um, louder, Travis. Magic so. conch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's be real. Everyone names their dick. Like, that's a thing. Oh, right, but before we get into that, we've got to, we've got to highlight. Topic. <laughs> that is a conversation topic. Next, next, <laughs> oh, before we get into that, William the Conk, show us how, tell us about how you're going to give this bitty the conk. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, details. Just let you know she watches, obviously. So, the, the way it's going right now, like, obviously, she's, she's going to get, 
Yeah. She's gonna get. So she's gonna get a full raid on her pussy, oh. just like in Valhalla. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna really? raid that We're pussy like a village. <laughs> wow. Wow, really that's very, very that. forward, very forward. Yeah. <laughs> Open up her loot Obviously. chest, all gold. Open up her loot chest. Hey, Will, well, some episode she knows how he is. He's just well, we gotta get some backstory for Facebook. the viewers. You got, you gotta, you yeah, gotta yeah. go like, you gotta Tender. pull the curtains away. You know, <laughs> and you gotta get stick some, your uh, head in, see what's going on. Give it a look. Give it. A look. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, give, give it a little backstory. Give it a little backstory. People don't know what you're talking about. Scrape and look. Excuse me. Well, so what's the backstory? All right, everybody. <laughs> Fork. All right, backstory, no. <laughs> Brandon. Give it out. Give it out. Give it out. Yeah, you tell the backstory, Brandon. You're the so, one who discovered it. Yeah. So yeah. we uh we got a comment on uh I think two episodes ago because I'm such a degenerate in posting these. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna go a brrr on the next episodes, but. Um, so what ended up happening is we got a comment by, uh, I'm not going to dox her name, but, uh, she says, uh, what, what was the exact comment, Oliver? I believe you said it earlier. Uh, William LeConk could get it, I think. So we, we threw that in our chat and immediately everybody goes into action. We try to find out who this girl is because date will is, is not just exactly it's like date will is just not it's not just a a meme it's a way of life and we take it very it really seriously is. it um, really is so it's an application process <laughs> at this moment um we have sent in a request we have sent in a formal letter to this girl over youtube dms i believe william what was what yes. was the dm what did you lead off with yeah wow, wow, wow. Good afternoon. this is very Tom. personable best regards this is Here, like Chad man. YouTube DMer, uh, the Virgin Instagram DMer. <laughs> <laughs> it says, <laughs> "I oh, said, he's pull up, he screenshot it. It's his lock screen." <laughs> I said, "Are you ready to have your town pillaged?" No, you didn't oh, say that. Oh my god! god. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. Is there a way you can no, show wait. the camera without doxing? Show the message. There's no. no fucking way. No. no. Okay, okay. Take Lock. a screenshot and zoom in on it. There is a way. Zoom in. <laughs> zoom in. Zoom in. <laughs> zoom in. No. That's wild. William went for I it, will. man. I he, shot, he shot his first. shot, man. You gotta shoot your you shot, really man. Said that. You legit said that. Be honest. Yes. Let me, let me um, sometimes. Said. Sometimes. I, 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 response. How long ago did you send it? I sent that at like 3 p.m. Is this what you say to the girls who unadd you on Snapchat all the time? Wow. Probably. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? You're probably right. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever checked my YouTube DMs. Maybe she didn't know until this episode comes out. Yeah. Dude, so this, 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 this might be a good segment. DMs existed. Yeah, I didn't I'm either. Saying. I didn't yeah. either. William was the first to open the, the door. I conquered that area. Listen, mysterious. Area. All right, Will. Everything is not going to be you conquering things. Let's be mysterious real Mysterious pillage right. victim, check your Google Plus. That's all I'm saying. Morgan, check get out of here with your fake shit. shit. Check your Google Plus? <laughs> Future wife could have messaged you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it turns out that we I, I had a podcast where me and my friends would riff about which penis was bigger. And uh, she she said that I could get it, and that the rest was history. You know, I hit her up on Google Plus, <laughs> and uh, what the fuck? I said, "Are you ready for me to raid your village?" And <laughs> oh, now wow. here we are at the altar. Such a way with Will. Will is just out here, just asking people, "Hey, is your pillage? Is your village ready to be pillaged?" Like, <laughs> wow, he's a conqueror, man. He's a conqueror. Gravy. I mean, yeah. it was kind of a rhyme. I didn't mean to. So, what did you guys name your cocks? Um, Let's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> the real business. Fuck. Who I said that? was the one that I said I was changing mine to. It's one that we said earlier in the show. You can't well, change you can't it. Change it. It's got personality, hey, man. On the fly, as this question is asked, change your cock name. Yeah, that's fucked. That's cheating. What it responds to, man. It's inhumane. I next, feel like Travis next, has got a good one. It's a kill shelter. I feel like Travis yeah. has got a good one. You just fucking put your dick down, <laughs> old yeah, yellow style. The classic, mine's the classic <laughs> Travis Jr. Boom. Trav June. Trav June. Right. <laughs> you beat me to the Trav June. Trav June. Trav June. No, I would love it if somebody named their dick Malaka. <laughs> Just after you not <laughs> Malaka. Or, or, or the dude from uh, Game of Thrones, the big dude, the Aquaman dude. The mountain. Name? The, uh, Jason Momoa. No, like this like name in, in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. I know he's 
What is no, 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 no. no he's, he's like a Dothraki place. person. I figure it's yeah, yeah, what is the one who, who boned the dragon Dothraki chick? Did, dude. Yeah. yeah, whatever his know. name is. Yeah, it's gonna come to me later I in the episode. The fuck y'all are so about, I don't, I don't know no why I decided this, but literally this was like sixth grade, and I was like, I looked down at my dick, and I was like, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey's his name. That's real, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Get it tattooed. Get it tattooed. <laughs> No, just put many What about you, boy? Uh, yeah. Um Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I there's it's I'm not gonna lie, it's just flat skin. I don't have anything down there. I'm You're sorry, a Kendall. I, yeah, I'm a Kendall. <laughs> I wish I wish there was more to it, but there's nothing there. <laughs> so what'd you name your flat skin? Yeah. <laughs> my, my skin flab. Um your so Kyle likes probably, flat. It's about six, six great. I'm actually not gonna lie, dude. Kyle, I'm not even trolling. No way. Kyle, I'm not even trolling. Kyle. You got Kyle. a boner and it punched a hole in the wall. <laughs> 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 right after you drank a monster. What about you, Ollie? Mine's uh Thumper. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, like you know, Call of Duty. The, the Thumper Call. is in the new that Call of Duty. Is, yeah, you better get that bitch yeah. gold. Yeah. Thumper. Yeah, I saw that actually. I hate that it's in there, bro. I hate it, but I love it because when I get it, you know damn well I'm using it. <laughs> You're talking about Call of Duty? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I actually named mine China Lake. <laughs> <laughs> I, ca- I call yeah. mine the Vagina Lake. Actually. Okay, mine wasn't because of that. No. It just kind of like came to me one day and that happened to be the name. Your so, dick? Yeah. Came it's always you? been there. It's just been named list till, you know, so- many eons ago. Mine's go. plain and simple. It's little Willie. Little Willie. Wow. All right. Yeah. yeah. It's it's condescending. It's reverse psychology because they'll hear that and they'll be like, oh, that's such a move. It probably is little. Whip that Dude. bitch out. You gotta you gotta tell yeah, every girl size. that you're dating that uh, that you're you have a mass of tiny dick. Like it's just actually just abysmally tiny. And then that way, if she leaves you, you're like, oh, like fuck that bitch. But if she stays with you, you know she's gonna be loyal. And then when she sees it, she's gonna be so pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Got to so undersell you your off, shit. When you take off your pants and underwear, is it free willy? Yes. <laughs> nice. nice. Yes. Well said. You get a, you get a fucking STD. Scream at it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you have post nut syndrome so bad. There's like, like that fucking scene from uh, uh, Ace Ventura 2. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah man Ugh. that's um that that whole like reverse psychology kind of works with me like like whenever i talk to them i'm like yeah you know i just i got a tiny dick man they're like wow really so at first it's a science experiment right that's kind of that's kind of how it works right they're like wow you know what for you i gotta see not if it's like all actually pay. that tiny right and then when i whip it out there's nothing there and they're like what i don't know what to do <laughs> i don't know what to do here no she just like fucking like polishes it <laughs> Yeah, that's what she's like. Do, she's man. like, she's like, stop eating me out. Just, just put it in. I'm like, no, I, I literally can't. So what you do is you hit her with the command slash dry hump. Oh my yeah. god! Starts dry humping just you. Press tilde and bring up the console. All right. You open up yeah. the Google Doc. No clip into her pussy. <laughs> oh, can we talk about the Google Doc, dude? That was a good combo. Can we bring that, that up. That was a good combo. So we had a lot of good we conversation pre-show. Show. I don't even remember. In class, in class, in college, the best way to talk to your friends is to have a Google Doc, right? But I said, I guarantee you, if you have a Google Doc open and it's just you and some chick alone working on some project, dude, some sex is going to happen. Like, that's the breeding ground right there. Google Docs, I promise you, right? I don't know. Like, Bro, you first start no. deleting her shit and she's like, oh, Shut, you deleted Will, my you shit. you don't fucking do- So I, I actually did this one time. Wow. Yeah. Um, and this yeah. is with uh with, like with experience here. And uh it worked really well. So what we did was we changed the different text colors so that way we could, you know, see. I wonder if I can find this Google Doc. Oh my god, dude. That that would be great content. <laughs> um so I'm gonna Big look for man. that. But like long story short, we would go back and forth, talk about how <laughs> cute each other were, and it was like very saucy. And then I, I told this story on the last podcast. So if you listen to that, like shout out to you, but ended up trying to kill herself so um i think it, it can either go two ways you're either wow. gonna get lots of pussy or she's gonna try to kill herself so i that's, mean if you're, it's if a direct you're, correlation 
Why do the cray, was she cray cray the whole time? Like, because you dated her, right? You ended yeah. up, yeah, yeah. I dated her for a while. Back he in ended middle up, school, he ended up getting it in the cooter once or twice. Why is she is crazy then. Oh, so you did fuck out of it. To your life in college and went crazy. So wait, Dude. you fucked a girl that killed herself? No, no, no. She no. <laughs> didn't kill her. Whoa, 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 what? Will. She didn't kill well, herself. She almost no, did. Will, have you ever heard us talk about Pill Popper? This is the girl yeah. we're talking about. I thought you Jeez, said. Man. I thought you said she. Listen, did kill listen, herself listen. So it was actually hey. it was very upsetting that like all jokes aside, like it was really upsetting that she tried to do this herself because she's like it one was, of the most intelligent people. Scary. It was a little scary. Very Super great Bowl. girl. Like we yeah, we, we can we can joke fucking all day because we're assholes, but like great girl. But I think the Google Sheets did it to her, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so it's very much like fuck, very suicide or both. Brandon. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Right, Morgan, suicide or both. both. Yeah, A, B, C, or all of the above. Yeah, uh, there's no between. Yeah. Careful, it's a it's a lot of responsibility. It is a it's a sticky it's a it's a sticky yeah. road. So what's it like? Like <laughs> fucking a psychopath, B. She'll become like a penguin. She'll mate to you for life after you hit her with the Google Doc. <laughs> Wow, that's 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 a mating call right there, dude. Jeez. I am going through some like ancient Google Docs right now. <laughs> yeah, Brandon and I we used to high key do that. When we had a class together because we would just sit there and watch movies. So we would high key like put a Google Doc together of like writing our essays and just like talk about random BS. Oh my god, this is that's what awesome. the this like is TikTok chat in college. I think I yeah. did a a fucking TikTok chat was the bomb. I used That's to another use, place you I have used sex. To be in plays, right? Yeah. So like everybody in the cast, they would separate girls and guys because people had to like change and shit. So like yeah. girls would be yeah. in the hallway all the way across the building. We'd be in the hallway on the other side, the boys. Yeah. So like the girls and the boys would get on their DSs and like picto chat each other, be like, hey girl, meet me in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> no. Why and don't they you were like, just meet me in the middle? There like yeah. huge ones yeah oh my god so you Pick meet the chat, and you can noodle in the cubby there was this one dude that i went to i went to middle school with <laughs> do you guys you remember that one uh zoe 101 movie where they had like the the t-mobile sidekick phones that would like flip out and it had the keyboard on it yeah um i don't know what movie you're talking about but i know what i know the about. phone yeah. yeah yeah so like <laughs> this kid in my class had one and the day he whipped it out at school, like all the bitches were on him. Oh, like he was, bro. That's like, it was that's like if you had a flip video camera and you brought it to school. Yeah, big time. That, like tiny little video camera. You're like, I bet you don't even know what this is. And then you like flip the thing out. You're like, it's a fucking video camera, bro. Have you ever seen one this small? <laughs> <laughs> and you would just get all the bitches instantly. And then all the girls would be like, oh my god, take a video of me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your pick to chat? <laughs> what's your what's your DS name? Bro. So back okay, for time for conspiracy conspiracy minute or two. So right. I oh. was reading up on obscure history shit and like obscure like hauntings and stuff like that. Have you guys okay, when you guys think of like places that are haunted, what are so like what are some ideas of like what come to mind? Like what places Getty look Park. like they no like what places so like what kind of house or like what kind of location snake Paul island Shepherdstown. like an old southern rancher house right okay yeah. like you think of right. like old victorian buildings and yeah. shit like that probably like, like uh, so, probably like yeah. monster house honestly in sunnyvale Literally, california yeah. into a monster. i think brandon found it so before brandon. i tell my story brandon, yeah, brandon did you find something. it oh my god dude i found Give it the highlights honestly okay it out, man she wrote a, a note and said can you, you screen have share this <laughs> i can't screen share it but i <laughs> no don't don't yeah, yeah. copyright strap no i feel like that goes into like what what is the suable thing where you're degenerating somebody's somebody's yeah. fucking reputation slander <laughs> Fan let me wagon. let me open up discord but i defamation. did find it defamation throw it in discord let us let us yeah. see at least let us see at least yeah give it to the boys <laughs> the good straight, straight sauce for the straight sauce for the podcast you know straight dude i this is this is Saucy bad i can't believe you. i found this 
can't believe you've done this. I can't believe <laughs> you've done this. I'm excited. No. Can Where's we get this? Can we put stuff in this Google Doc right now? Is it in there? I add to it. So oh, I can't what, see the the chat. What Brandon likes? Random bunt pinches pinches are going to happen. Don't be surprised. And she says, "I don't have one." And then I say, "Lies, bro. I'm fucking smooth as shit. Let's go." <laughs> Wait, what color? Are you? What color are you? Yo, uh, I think I'm red. I'm red. I'm red for sure. He's red. Get me yeah. uh, get me in there. I. I can't see it. Things this Brandon back, liked. This is back at the time where Yas was being heavily used. Wow. What thing, things Brandon things Brandon likes when this girl changes in front of him. Tease me, OMG. Yes, really. What? <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Brandon. What the fuck is this right here? When Brandon. you get into sex, it just makes No, these- no, that's <laughs> so real though. Like when a girl like <laughs> loves okay. it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Dude, random candy or food, yas, yas, yas. OMG. When you blush, it seriously makes me weak. Bro, why, oh my God. why is this one right down here? I don't care what you say. I think you are beautiful. No, no, in the impact font. <laughs> Bro. Those BJs, though. I told you, dude. What, what did I say? Those what did BJs, I say? though. OMG. Dude. I like I like showing my hypothetical girl off. That's real. That's real. That's real. It's fair. What's this? Teasing makes me miss you more, but I like it. Sorry, I like it. At the same time, pictures? Yes, yes, yes. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> the cringe within this Google I'm Doc. With your hair or just pushing it behind your ear. Don't know why it's just comforting. You know this man what? just watched zombie land. <laughs> what the hell? I hate this. I hate this so much. Dude, this is 2014 version of me, dude. It's so crazy. This is just senior year, senior, senior year of high school. It's AKA. really funny how much like from this though is still in your vocabulary. Wait, wait. Like, What's this? Of yourself. Brandon, What's Brandon, this? check general. Check general real quick. What is this? I like, like, like. You, oh, I thought it said you, your asshole, not I you're an saw asshole. That. Yeah, I saw that. Bro. Brandon's asshole? Something about Brandon's an asshole. Right in the cheeks. Right in the booties. Right in the ass. Comfy days, sweatpants, yoga pants, winky face. In the ain, bro. Showing off the, the boo. I can't believe I wrote those BJs though. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> Omg. That's, oh, fucking my awesome. God. That's the best one. That's the best. Oh my god. Dude, wait, wait. When you say and, my name, say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name. <laughs> Dude, he hopped I fucking on. Fucking hate this. Your cocky asshole attitude, playful, of course. How many? Why? Why is there like six people in here? Did she just pop into this like just randomly at the same time? Wait. Like, what? There's six I people. Swear. There's anonymous jackalope. There's there's Guys. anonymous dingo. There's anonymous <laughs> cheetah. Penguin. Anonymous wow. penguin. I don't even know really which one I am right now. Yeah. Bro. What's this one? If you smell good, I will want to be all over you. If you smell good, that sounds like Brandon. That sounds like Brandon. Bro, that has Brandon, to be you. Brandon's always like, if the girl's got really good smelling hair, I'm all about it. That's definitely yes, him. bro. If she smells like that suave, like strawberry kid shampoo, bro, I knew you were gonna say strawberry something. I, I just knew you were really. sweating at this one, <laughs> having this is- deep ass conversations about dot 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 <laughs> wife, and then she wrote maybe. <laughs> bro what's this i this is something brandon had to say i feel you would support me youtube school or just in general bro you threw youtube in on it yeah Dude, man. that's my fucking he was life. passionate about that forever bro <laughs> dude you know what you know what's characteristic of brandon like what the fuck? typing out the face with like just the lowercase c and then the colon like that's some Brandon ass shit right there. Man. Oh, you, I you, hate you uppercase that. Morgan. That's dude. Some Phase Apex shit. was like, if you if you put that emoji, the lowercase c with the colon, you're a fucking pussy. You know that <laughs> honestly hurt me to my colon yeah, back that, in the you day. You never did it again. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, that's like colon free level. I had yeah, somebody yeah. hit me with that recently. <laughs> really? In 2020, you had someone hit you with the colon Yo, free. Yeah. Wait up. That's insane. Has anyone scrolled to the very last page 
of yes. this entire doc. What? There's another page, dude. I didn't Bro, even there's I'm seven Brandon. Brandon. I was like, damn, Brandon, okay. That first paragraph is her. The second paragraph, I believe, is Brandon. And then the I last one. The end of the first paragraph just made me think of like 50 Shades of Grey so much. Like, but I like it. You, and I want you. And then Brandon it's like pins her up against the wall and he's like, so. <laughs> That's so oh my god, that's nasty. That's an Oliver move, to be honest. He pushes her against the wall. Bro, there's so many more freaking So you like making a deal with the devil? <laughs> when you say my name, say my name. <laughs> when was this written? Do you have a year? I didn't even read this like whole other conversation between them two. Like, do you think this whole thing of us would actually work out? Do you? <laughs> of course, I really want it to. <laughs> this Bro. sounds like Twilight dialogue. Like, this is kind of cringe. <laughs> Brandon. Okay. Wow. All right. Back to my thing. Do people keep hopping in and leaving? So I just left. Hold on. So. What are, what are your what are your thoughts on this overall thing? Because I think we're post cut. <laughs> um, this is post cut. Okay. okay. Brandon pulled so hard from Google Docs. Bro. Also <laughs> hard. You. My God. Also hard. Hard. That, <laughs> that last paragraph that we probably had to cut. Like this girl fucking was really into you, dude. Obsessed. Obsessed. She was so, obsessed. She was trying like, to get her balls her deep. out on this last page. It was very I, personal. I did. I did. So um. You know, me and this girl, we hooked up, and uh, we... Uh, so you did smash. Yeah, I did. Like, yeah, they mentioned that earlier if you were reading. Yeah, I <laughs> Those BJs. Oh, my God. Those BJs, though. <laughs> no, dude. Them? So, like, it was, it was insane. So, I, I reconnected with this girl after, like, not seeing her, talking to her for oh, years. Years and years and years. And this was because I drank for the first time ever. So I was feeling myself. I was feeling talkative, mm. and I was really introspective. Mm. It's like, man, this, this sound, is crazy. And this, this are we talking weird. about the return that we've for now? Not, try, no. not trying, not trying, not trying to cut no, you no, off. You're but talking this, about this sounds MD, like right? this sounds like some Brandon and Travis. Oh, I'm drunk. Let's send some regrettable text messages. Yep, dude. RTMs were fire. <laughs> So we, I, I, uh, uh, I hit her up you guys, and she, you guys went back to back for she sure comes to over to my hotel room when I had the and I'm like, okay, back cool. Back. You know, we're going to hang out. So we go and we do a long walk on the beach, like literally, because we're in Ocean City at this point. And we oh, yeah. come to this fucking hotel, like this other, <laughs> we just come. Me and, uh, me and Travis both at the same time. <laughs> We go to this hotel Sorry, and we, we go to the roof of it and we just have these long talks. And I just look at her and she's like, what? What? Why are you giving me that look? And I just start kissing her. And at this point, the whole time I didn't know this, she's got a boyfriend. So I'm GFSing at the same Damn. time. And then I... Subconscious GFS. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. The this is like the fourth steal. time this has happened to me. So the next, next thing that happens is we go to my hotel room and we hook up. Time goes by. We kiss and we say Don't goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. We hooked up in the hotel room while, while I remember. Night. Oh, God. I remember that whole experience. I don't I didn't know y'all hooked up. We okay. hooked up. So, okay. okay. Again, Morgan, we just kept out our loop. Doc, I was, I was like Doc 13. <laughs> I read it. Yeah. I knew Google, that. Happened. Google Doc yeah. is post hookup. So. We go. Psych, psych that yeah. shit. It so, really didn't, though. We already had a past in which I was sources. going in. Not only that, we already kind of talked about it. So when you plan things out, it's not as bad. Plus, I initiated the sex, and you asked if I wanted to. So it was my decision when it came down to that. Not only that, it was the best, like, ever. I don't regret any of it. That was Brandon. So then, that was Brandon. So if you guys read that part, you'd know. You knew about the, <laughs> you knew about, you knew about the nitty-gritty. I'm reading. I'm sorry. So... And then Crazy afterwards, it was a sign. You came late, Morgan. You get a pass. All right. It was a Thanks, sign. Thanks, it was man. a sign reading more. We're just gonna be a late. quiz tomorrow. God, I'm gonna have to do so much <laughs> fucking editing to this episode. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, leave it all in. Leave it all in. You just want to cut into my shit? No, hold on, hold on. So I want to finish the story real quick. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so no. afterwards, <laughs> she is still with this guy, and while we're still talking. And her boyfriend hits me up on, I think, Twitter. 
and when he's not do. confrontatious. He's more like consoling. <laughs> excuse me, consoling in me. <laughs> and Sorry. he's like, "Bro, you know, I, I see that you and her are close now. Um, you know, you were her ex boyfriend. You- you've got to know some things. Like how how do I get get back together with her? I love her so much." This guy literally had the fucking reading level of a third grader. So he was like sending like the most degenerate sentences, but this is what he was saying. And, you were and I'm like, like I'm bro, you just got to listen to her <laughs> knowing damn well she cheated on this man. Um, wow. Not going to lie. That has happened to me three times. I said four earlier, but three times in my life where you I have GFS and the boyfriend hits me up and is like, how do I get back with her? How do I do this? Teach wow. me. And they're done that. I you know, you know, this, I never this, know what to this, say, to be honest. This stems from like something that, you know, I didn't really believe it at first, but since knowing Morgan and Brandon through the years, this has happened more and more where for whatever reason, anytime they get with a girl, they just have a long lasting like singe on that woman's brain where they can't let them go. It's it's a blessing and a curse, man. It's a blessing and a curse. That's the best way to put it. Honestly, oh, yeah. that's why I was like, so I don't want to say protective. That's not the right word. But like, I was really just always warning you when you were about to get with a cringe girl, because I yeah. knew that yeah, like every around. single time you would not be able to get rid of this cringe girl. Because <laughs> never, never. You literally have this effect where you have to pry them off with a crowbar to get them a fucking way from you. It's like uh, when you go you fishing, when you go fishing, but like the hook gets like the, the fishing line gets cut, but the hook's still there and it stays there. It stays you, you, know, you know, Travis, speaking of cringe women, I don't know if we want to go down that path. <laughs> <laughs> what, where, where are you going to go with this? But, but, I'm not. That's it. When I ended it, they didn't have like that's they didn't true. keep coming back. <laughs> that's fair. I agree with that. That's, that's fair. fair. That is yeah, fair. fair. That's fair. I've never had a person come back to me ever. Well, here's the well, thing. You it's, know what? Most people most people would think off, that <laughs> most people would think that if you left that person, probably a reason not to go back unless it was meant to. Ew, be. dude. So, I had it happen once. It. And she wanted to be with me and her boyfriend at the same time. Oh, yeah. no, so I had no. to decline that offer. Disgusting. That's a bad offer. Disgusting. Ew, dude. What the fuck? What was that? Point? What do you gain from this? <laughs> listening. This is what she says to me. Listening to her voice. It's like warm velvet. It's coming. Okay. That's, 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 let's 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 this topic. All right. Brent, close off. close the spreadsheet. His ego is too big. We got to get out of here. Literally. Right. Yo, high key the spreadsheet. All right. Everybody, everybody, leave the spreadsheet real quick. I'm gonna do a little experiment. I want to see your left there, aka booty. Leave yeah, the, leave I, I was referencing a, a a different spreadsheet that Travis still has. I do believe. <laughs> oh, we can't talk about the spreadsheet. Know, We're gonna have no, to cut okay. out so much. It's on this, bro. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's on. It's on our school's fucking cloud <laughs> oh system. My <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. Uh, I want to hear about that later. I want to hear off about topic. That later. All right. That's off topic. Off cam. All right. So, so just yeah, in case yeah, we just it. came back from the largest cut of all time, this is gonna have to be like a fucking long. We're gonna have to record for a while. You cut that whole thing. You That's fine. Cut that whole thing. You need to cut. 90% of that. <laughs> you need to cut a lot of that. You need to cut 40 at most. Yeah, okay, okay, but I'm not going to lie. If you intricately cut it, like you you cut out each individual conversation, you can get a good chunk of that, right? There's not too much that's terrible. All right, Will's got a topic. He's been itching. Right. We're going to do it. Get into it. Get into it. All right, so back to the topic at hand. When you think of a place that's haunted, what, like oh, what yeah. location? Uh, that was, that I was forgot like about this. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> Monster, <laughs> Monster, <laughs> Bro. All right, cut it. Cut this conversation. Cut this conversation. Right, 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 cut it, cut it. <laughs> We're cutting this. We're cutting this. Old lady somehow has like a Cajun fence with like some weird like statues outside. Like okay, like I think of like old Victorian homes. I don't believe in ghosts at all. I don't. There is there is something that caught my eye the other day when reading about obscure like history and obscure yeah. hauntings. Okay, and there's this place in sunny. Ville, California. There is a haunted Toys R Us 
Wow. It's out of business. That's scary, dude. It is That's out of business be. as of right it's now. Scary. But it used yeah. to be. It closed in 2018. Or yeah. what me Apparently. and the boys refer to as Boys Are Us. <laughs> but That's... That's weird, actually. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, there was a haunting, and they lost six managers, like six managers quit within like three months. So they did some digging. They found out that the store was built on top of like an old prairie, like plantation ish place. <laughs> and there was this guy named Yanni Janssen. Yanni Janssen? And what he was in love. He was in love with this girl like, named you mean Johnny Elizabeth. Johnson? <laughs> nice name. Yeah, John. it's like it's supposed to be Johnny Johnson. Johnny. Is it the family company? No, no, no. No. <laughs> but he was apparently Johnson. in love with this girl on the plantation who was the plantation <laughs> owner's daughter. Or like Ranch's Uh-oh. owner's daughter and stuff like that. To and kill so, a mock. And he said he said those BJs though. <laughs> and, then, and then all right, cut that, cut that. <laughs> so he like confesses her his love to this girl, and he like she denies him. She's like, No, I'm I'm getting married to a lawyer out east in like six days. I damn I, I don't love you, man. Chad lawyer. And then he and, says um, and he fucking gets Chad so mad lawyer. that he chops his leg off chopping wood and bleeds out to death. So they say that the ghost haunting the halls of the toy store, the toys, the Toys R Us, are is is this guy Yanni Johnson or Johnny Johnson? He's just like he's just like he's got his dick in his head. He's like I'm horny. I'm trying to fuck. No, <laughs> like apparently he would attack any he's customers that were named Elizabeth for some reason. He wow. like spelled out Elizabeth in like block toys at one point. Uh, there's a famous oh, picture. Um. I'll see if I can find it real quick. They don't sell yeah. block toys anymore. This is in the 1930s. This Dude, little, little kids like block toys, man. They, they throw on I block a long time ago, Fuck. you fucking non-believer. <laughs> hey, man. Like, <laughs> li- 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 people people the, still the use paranormal. blocks and link logs <laughs> and stuff like that. The ghost lovers. <laughs> yeah. I fucking believe in everything. I think that, like, I think that nothing is like impossible, you know? Big conspiracy wow. guy over here, Travis. What's that? No, what's that I, law of, of science where it's like if it's possible, it's going to happen? Newton's law. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in this Newton's picture, in this picture, if they will fucking zoom, that shadowy figure that's standing up. They did a seance in the store with like this famous lady who got like debunked in like twenty like like two thousand and four. Like, and so, zoom in. in this picture. In this picture, that standing figure is supposed to be Johnny Johnson um, during the thing, um, during the seance. They literally got like 20 people that like worked at the store and sat their asses down in the middle of a toy aisle at night in this Toys R Us. And this crazy lady who was saying that she was a psychic. Why would like, I open this image? Is it smaller than the one in the fucking chat? It's, it's so small. small. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> No, I zoomed in. I showed the viewers. Continue. Yeah, but keep like, going, keep yeah, going. like that's what this whole thing was about. And like they did this, and she was like, she was like, go back to the other side or some bullshit like that. And there's actually like a dramatization of this in an old fucking TV show called uh fuck what it's like called like Real Ghost. And the host of the show is Leonard Nimoy, the fucking guy who plays Spock. Damn. It is a wild ass shit. How how long ago was that? How old is uh, that? The seance was in the 1980s, I believe, or like the early 1990s, I believe. So Fox we, old man. Fox we old. uh, I, Oliver and I and his girlfriend went to a because I'm just like a fucking famous for third wheel. Um, we went to a <laughs> haunting uh, tour down in the college town that we went to, and uh, we it. To be honest, all the haunting stuff I thought was super corny, but like the history behind it was super interesting. Um, but they, she talked about a lot of things. The the one that that really fucked me up was whenever they talked about this elephant in this circus that oh, went yeah. around town. And apparently, this circus company was just a bunch of degenerates who didn't know how to actually handle uh, animals, and they slaughtered the fuck out of the child of one of the mama elephants, and they. We're like, oh shit! Like, what are we gonna do with our remains? You know, I don't. I, 
this is fucked. Like, everybody's going to be pissed at us. This is a famous town within the United States. Like, this was almost the capital. They put in the bones into the ground, and apparently the mama elephant went to the bones. Two years later, yeah. Weeped. Like, you would just hear it, like, all across the fucking town, uh, which is pretty fucked. But that was one of the things that was was really interesting. Uh, In in our college town, like, right next... I don't know the where. The random church. Yeah, one of these random churches over there. There's a okay. random church. One of the, the college like, town. Churches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've got like those signs out front. Well, apparently they were saying to you, like in some places that we tour, like you can't have a metal detector just because who knows what's actually buried. Yeah, ghosts are real, bro. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. I think they are. I think they are. Bro. I believe them. I, I believe in ghosts. I, believe. I agree. Like Same, I said, bro. I believe in everything. I believe in ghosts and I believe in aliens. I think aliens are real. 100% I kinda, aliens are real. 100% they're fucking real. That. That's fucking okay. Yeah, that, you got to be an idiot to not believe them. I'm sorry. I've been a lot about this lately. Fucking cryptids. All right. Cryptids are fire. Cryptids, but so also explain. Explain. Stuff I, like, especially stuff like skinwalkers. Cryptids are. Cryptids are, yeah. cryptids are like essentially like it, yeah. it's it's Bigfoot falls into that. It's big animals yeah, big essentially. Foot, Mothman, that's like your usual the Loch Ness monster. You can't Mothman, explain. Yeah, yeah. Bigfoot. I was, I was reading about following. fucking like skinwalkers and shit. Skinwalkers is something that like this tries to disguise itself as a human, but it's not quite human. Like there's something fucking off about it, right? <laughs> Like uh, right. so I was like Siren thing, Head. Uh, like we're we're fucking we're Homo sapiens, right? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Humans are Homo sapiens. Yeah. Back in like prehistoric times, like a fajillion years ago, there were like seven other species of humans that besides Homo sapiens, besides what we are now. Right. So basically, to be where we're at now, where we're the only ones, we had to like genocide six other species no. of humanity and like did we kill them all so let me Are explain walking among us like some slight- no we fucked them let me, we, let, we let, definitely let me explain them. let me explain let me explain there's actually a lot to that uh a lot of those other species like homo erectus and all that kind of stuff a lot of it was like like breeding like we had a lot of sex with them dude humans like to fuck they like to fuck right so a lot of them in fact that's why that's why a lot of us have neanderthal in us in fact i don't even think you can find very many if anybody without neanderthal in them because we just had a lot of fucking sex with these things and then they became us more like it like we knew a guy we knew a guy at school who looked like a straight caveman (laughs) remember that he he hung out with ice (laughs) full forehead I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just just his he forehead was just like four like inches. Frankenstein. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, we would no, fuck I the shit out of that him. shit. I believe in yeah, skinwalkers, dude. Like that, that shit. Like some of the stories that you read about skinwalkers, these things are fucking terrifying. Like there's stories that you can read about where like there's like families that um they like lose a daughter for like a couple days, and then like out of nowhere the daughter comes back, but like the daughter's a little off. And all mm-hmm. that, like, it, there's something off about the daughter. And then she's a like, synth. Then, like, they find out that, like, the daughter is a skinwalker. Like, a skinwalker, like, replaced their daughter, actually killing their daughter and shit like that. No, so Just here's here's the thing skin. about these things. Like, I I, I don't believe oh, in them. Um, <laughs> and, like, I I don't. Uh, we we nuke Boston. Um, <laughs> we would find it. We would find them. Really there's fun. there's so. Like I said, like if it's bound to happen, it's going to. We have Brandon. so much thermal technology. Brandon. We have helicopters Brandon. and planes Brandon. flying Brandon. over everything. Brandon. What? What's that behind you? What? It's Paladin Dance. That, that it's paladin. thing right behind you. <laughs> Skinwalker. There's planes. Skinwalker. <laughs> yeah. Walking there are the Wendigos skin. outside my house. <laughs> and, and there's just somebody behind me. Like, I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. You know, do, you guys, do you guys believe Siren. in bad Do you guys believe in bad luck? Yeah, of course. No. Like if you open up an umbrella inside, I, or you break a mirror. No, stuff no, like that. I don't, I don't, no, no, no. That's bullshit. That's I believe bullshit. in like luck level, dude. I believe some people are luckier than others. Like we knew this one guy who was the luckiest motherfucker. Like he did so much dumb shit. Tell us, he yes. never got any repercussions for it. Or if he did, they were the most minor they could possibly. Crazy, crazy. Be. Yeah, he was crazy. And that was actually in his nickname. That we gave him. Yeah, yeah, CS. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. 
No, I, I think um, I I don't think luck is real. I, I there's a lot of these like superstitions that that come about. I I think when opportunity meets somebody who's prepared, then that's when luck, so to speak, comes into fruition. I I don't think that you know everything happens not for a reason. But like for a reason, if somebody randomly gets killed by a fucking flying cow that was tossed away by a fucking tornado, which has happened in the past. You can believe yeah. both, though. I believe everything happens for a reason, but I also okay, okay. feel like some people are definitely luckier than others. But, but think like about I'm it. I'm luckier than a lot of people, for instance. I'm not. I, same, if I get same. killed but by a fucking it, truck, it. it's you not can, because you can of luck. Set up, you could set yourself up, though. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people who think like luck is like not real or luck is real, they kind of hedge their bets on extremities right like for instance a fucking cow just flying over and hitting somebody okay so you can do as much as possible to get away from that situation obviously it's just going to happen if you live in like i don't know oklahoma and, and that's Valley. where your luck level but, comes in for stuff exactly. like that like you could be prepared time, though. I was like speeding be prepared, down a hill though. right like an idiot speeding down this back road hill near my house when i just had learned to drive like you know you always do dumb shit when you first turn like 16 you're so excited to be able to drive on your know. own you just do dumb shit you go fast you go too fast around turns you crash your cars you're a fucking idiot so i was being an idiot and going way too fast down a hill with a lot of curves and i come around this curve and literally in the middle of the curve there's a car trying to make a left turn so he stopped in the lane that i'm in and another on the other side there's a car coming so I'm here with two cars. I'm coming around this turn going 60 miles an hour easily. And there's these two cars both crossing each other at this exact moment. This could have easily been a three-car accident where I most certainly died being the car that was going the fastest. But somehow I turned my wheel just a little bit and split right between these two cars and just kept on driving. I didn't even yep. know what I was doing because it was such a split second moment, but I just turned the wheel that slightest bit that I needed to and skirted with inches to spare between both cars on through the middle of these two cars. Like that kind of shit wouldn't happen to someone who's less lucky than me. I mean, remember, remember when I flipped my car and I walked away with like zero scr scratches. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, like, that. like you rolled that thing. Like I three rolled times. And there got out of that with bumps and bruises. Yeah, Tell I was me. fine. I was I fine. I had actual car crash where I hit a light pole. Mine was backwards. actual. Thank God I hit it backwards. <laughs> I was literally You're just shitting spinning. on your car crash right now. I hit. I hit a patch of ice. Was spinning out of control. Hit a light pole. Number one, thank God I hit it backwards because that light pole was literally half of it was impaled in the back of my car. If I had hit it forwards, I'd be dead. Number two. Despite hitting it backwards, it was, like I said, in my back seat. So, like, a lot of damage was done. Glass was shattered everywhere. Somehow, I swear to you, I don't know how this happened. You can say, I don't care if you believe in God or not. I feel like God was watching me on this day. But, like, there was just debris and glass in a perfect circle around me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to shit on, like, your car accident. But I just can't wait for Will to penetrate with his light pole. All right, wait, to to mysterious comment, girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, she re she responds. She responds with. She responds with. The village is open. Come pillage. Have we know. have we had the religion conversation on this uh on this channel? What I don't know the religion that. conversation. Like like how we all we feel about how how we all feel about this whole thing. I don't think we have. Um, Probably not. Actually, do you want to get into it? We've kind of we've kind of veered away we from that. politics, left, right, we and can... sideways. But for some reason, we haven't talked about religion until now. Religion yeah. is a very, I, I think this stuff's interesting. Thing. Yeah, it's religion's very, very interesting because it. There's no way to definitively prove otherwise, but right? there's no definitive way to prove. Yeah, like you, so you, you can't so much on your it's upbringing, tough. like what you yeah. believe. Yeah, and how deep yeah, you can't. You can't like. You like, can't, like, Oliver be... and I come from very Catholic families. I know. Same right. here. Yeah. And yeah, I you... can't shit on anybody for viewing any certain way no. unless it definitively harms another human being. Like, exactly. okay, I'm not going to lie. The only thing I'm ever going to shit on probably big time is like Scientology or something like that. Like, Scientology okay, is that. ass. 
Where you obviously know you're getting into a cult and you just do it. <laughs> well, yeah, like yeah, you yeah, can't, you can't like, you can't like, you can't like be, you can't like be <laughs> pissed at someone who like some Johnny Johnny is type it, shit it is like believes in Catholicism or Johnny, Hinduism because they're so different. And like yeah. you, this is what people believe. Like you can't just be like, oh, you're wrong because you like Hinduism, uh, Hinduism, or you're wrong because you like Catholicism. You can't. No, that's like, interesting. That. That's just interesting. The one thing that's like also yeah, very different. interesting about religion is like every religion has a history to it. So like, True. it's not just something that's made up on spot. Even Scientology has a history like behind it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm with Morgan on this one. Scientology is utter ass. The, the whole concept of it is retarded, but it does have a history behind it. There are some and, dumb like, shit religions. There are some dumb shit there religions. There are some dumb like, No offense dumb to religions. Who, who practices this religion. I don't know what our like Mormon viewership is, but they're kind of, <laughs> They're kind, they're kind of, of stupid. Wow. They, they, well, they Don't were honestly, loud, man. <laughs> they, were have opportunists. Ooh, they, they were very opportunists. Like this was the perfect time for them to start a religion. Like, I don't know when they started it, but it was like, yeah, right. And their leader is like, it was the so 1800s. Fucking rich. This man you, is pulled off like the last possible opportunity, history, by the way. Do you guys, do you guys think that like Amish is like a type of religion? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Amish is like a religion. That's more like a lifestyle. It's yeah, a it's lifestyle like, yeah. of a religion, but it's got religious background. That's true. That's Sometimes yeah. religion is your lifestyle, like if you're a Mormon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, not gonna lie. Okay, okay. Let me into, like, let me let me speak real quick on the Mormons. Let, let me let me. I mean, thrash yeah, a we little got bit. a Utah boy here. Let, let me thrash a little bit. I just got stationed in Utah not too long ago, but I swear to God, like believe whatever you want, but Mormons are like the nicest people. Oh my God, I know. I They're know. I'm not trying to like people, shit man. on them. I'm just saying. No, I, I know, I know, but I'm just saying I like, typically, if I, I say I live in Utah, life. people are like, I can't live in Utah. And I'm like, okay, why? Wait, I, I understand. I've got my reasons why I don't like it here. But, you know, what, what's cold. your reason? And they usually say, oh, like Mormons are just weird. What? No, no I wish come my on. entire neighborhood was Mormons. Oh my God. They're, they're nice as fuck. Nicest, they're good but people. Soft spoken. Like they'd be the good best people. neighbors. Good people. <laughs> no, so the whole, anyway, the whole thing with the whole thing with like the reason I love my, my Roman Catholic background and religion is because the history that's involved with it. But like the scary thing is like, this shit started right, like Catholic because of the history. We were kind of fucking dickheads. Well, that's the thing is like you don't yeah. expect that from like what you were like grown up to hear. So like that was the big thing that was like great for me. It's like oh my my religion has some very very dark secrets and a dark past and shit like that. Our fucking I'll be honest. If you look back at it and you look at it kind close enough, <laughs> dude. If you look I back. Here's if you I look back, like Roman Catholic, Roman Catholics like the NCR, right? But we were, Catholics whole, come in and they're like, "Yes, we are the saviors. Everyone rally behind us. Like we're the best people in bro, the world." While the just turning a blind eye to all their own corruption. The Catholic Church <laughs> was started basically as a cult. It it was one hundred percent a cult. Mm. It had cultish ways, like they had they had sacrifices and shit like that. Savage, like I mean, so savagery. Like, Egyptians, like their religion, they let or their way of life, yeah, they like right. sacrifice too. Yeah, but then there was like a turning point where the New Testament was. There was like a yeah, turning point yeah. Where it was, Old, where God Old was Testament like, God right. was a fucking asshole. I'll admit it. I'll admit Old it. Old Testament was God was up. a dick. One hundred percent. That man it, did so much j- fucked up shit. To so, people, he almost made a man kill his only fucking son, and he okay, waited till literally the last second. He did flood the entire world and kill everyone <laughs> except for like one guy's family. So <laughs> I, I think I'm the out. Uh, I'm probably like an outlier on this an whole thing, but like I, I think all of that shit is 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 not real. Uh, to be honest, I th- I feel like a lot of religions were kind of just like comic book characters. Like Jesus is his own character; and he has his own <laughs> Dude, power level. Superman. Remember, Ken, no, Jesus was real though. Jesus no, Jesus was real. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether no or not you believe he was who he like, who religious people think he was, he did live and like he did die in the way that the Bible says. Like I don't know about all the Those Romans are savage. I, I man. cut him open and water poured out shit, but he did die the way he did and live the way he so. Did. Uh, but like I, I feel like all of the shit is is, is is pretty make believe. I humans are very good at trying to to explain how things are, and at this point in our society, it's like well we we're, we're explaining a lot of these things, and a lot of these things are impossible. Um, and and I, I like to quote Hobson here. It's like 
you know, I'd like to believe, but I ain't seen shit from the horse's mouth. And it's, you know, and there's so much hardship that goes on in this world. And there's so much bigotry and absolute fuckery yeah. that comes out of religion that I don't fuck with. But like there, and, but to the opposite side is like what Morgan said earlier, I do not fucking hate anybody that practices any sort of religion yeah, at all. It's the fucking too, like, dickheads that ruin it for everybody. Whether or not you think yeah. like there, I know there's that argument that like, if you need religion to be good, you're not really good. But like, you can't deny the fact that religion does encourage people to be good. Most of the time. So I think yeah, the fear of God is the same thing as the fear of doing bad. I think I want to, the I fear of not reaching that. enlightenment. Like, I want to I want to speak to that for sure. I I really really like um that that morality argument because especially back in the day, right? When when most of these are being formed and don't get me wrong, some of them are older than others, right? But still, that moral guideline was very 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 crucial, especially for a bunch of people who didn't have a mass mindset of uh this is right, this is wrong, you know. Let's you all get together for a common purpose and that it exactly. At the end of the day, because the religion pushed us forward as a human race so all in their own the main backbone to every religion every religion has that moral backbone for its entire society because if you look at it what what's the not big, all of them not all of them but a majority of them <laughs> so, yeah most of them most of them about the huns yeah not the huns. they were kind of cool not the huns. the huns like to really fuck over they oliver and cool. uh civilization <laughs> so like yeah. it, <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> you know, I think Not it's terrible. it's Little it was necessary time. for our civilization just in general. Humans as in general, it ne- religion was a necessary step, but I think it was bound to happen, right? Give it give it, it a thousand years and I don't think religion's going to play a major part in in human development. I think you know, a lot of people like to put their belief and their desires and everything within religion, and that's cool, and I'm happy for it. But I would rather put my belief in myself and my abilities and my um, potential as as a person. That's versus, what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna be a good person, but religion is not my personality. Yep. I I will say though, um, and this this also feeds to like whenever religion started, like there's households that raise people a certain way, right? So when it when shit first started and they didn't have media to tell them, hey, there's different outlooks you can you can hold, right? You just had a household that's just going to raise you how you're going to be raised by your dad and your mom and all that and and family values. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Now, on the flip side now, you could still do the same thing and not necessarily like keep your kid in the dark, but like purely raise them on your values and again, could be a good thing and a bad thing. That's why religion, I still think, still plays a vital role because um, what's it, like people's morality standards are shifting big time, but not everybody's as strong as you know. Pretty much, whoever says I'm going to form my own path and be the best person I could be. Yeah, not man. Everybody's I don't that think strong. it's going anywhere. Like after we completely fucking annihilated the Nazis, there's still Nazis today. Yeah. And I feel like there's always going to yeah. be those hardcore like Bible thumpers. Even in a time where religion in the masses has been completely eradicated, there will always be that like subsector of hardcore. I, like, I, I feel like really, that the Bible is true. I hate gay people, blah, blah, blah. Well, I also yeah. feel like we're like what Morgan was saying, like in terms of like religion, like if you grew up with that, that kind of like turns into like your morals and your values, so, like how you view things, how like what you expect, you know what I mean? It kind of like turns into that which isn't necessarily a bad thing but it, sometimes it could be yeah i think i think islam kind of gets a really bad rap um mm-hmm. but also like rightfully so at the same time um there there are a lot of extremists out there that really fuck up the name of islam which it, which is fucked because there are people that practice it and you know are are great people are are fantastic people but then you see these other guys who use the excuse of islam like this is my religion i'm going to rape my wife or beat my wife and like that's okay right and and when in reality like you know most normal people understand that islam is not this this terrible thing but the people that do terrible things are terrible fucking people let me let me say um I, I hate the fact that Islam itself has to be stuck in that kind of position 
And and again, you could say rightfully so, but I think the pure issue is is the Middle East as a whole is is under tur- turmoil constantly, right? It, it depends on the area that you're in. Like the UAE, obviously not as much because it's the UAE, right? It's one of the richest areas, pretty much the richest area in that that whole you know part of uh, multiple continents, I guess. But like, it's purely how that her tor- that whole turmoil was uh, was uh, I guess formed. And so those people that that practice Islam get a bad rap because there's there's a lot of bad eggs. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of bad there's eggs. Bad and, eggs in every religion, and that, man. Bad that eggs in every religion, was, every organization, every fucking job, everything. That's fair. That that turmoil isn't isn't a religious. The causation wasn't religious. It was, you know, just how that area is. And yeah, and you can exactly. Get people are fucking that, bad, but, and people are good, dude. It's about 50-50 yeah. in the world. I'd say at this point. Maybe let 60, me, 40, bad, good. Let me tell you what, I, I really encourage everybody to do as much research as possible. Uh, I've been given a good opportunity to explore a bunch of religions. And I have for, for a, a big part, Hinduism, uh, Buddhism, I forget the name of one of them, but it, it said something along the lines of like all the prophets are prophesizing pretty much the same thing or they're Hinduism, all just like as oliver mentioned earlier different <laughs> yeah yeah Hinduism, Hinduism. Hinduism, man. I, I corrected myself <laughs> definitely explore it it's interesting stuff even if you don't agree might as well check it out you know what i mean yeah i it's think interesting. i think a lot of people try to find meaning in life and, and at the end of the day you know i in, in my eyes once once you're gone from this world um you're you're off this world which is yeah. sounds very interesting to say but or not interesting but like kind of redundant to say but it's like you know at the end of the day you have to make the most out of it and you you live your every single day to your best you try to do better every single day um it, I, i'm not here to live for an afterlife if there is one you know fuck yeah i'm about it uh, that's uh, what i'm thinking i'm not gonna fucking live for it i'm not gonna i don't know it's, I want to get there if it's available, but I think if there is one, you get there by just like being a decent person, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't I like don't, blind followership. I don't like that at all. I being think a God is a very good thing. Hypothetical God situation. <laughs> you know, I don't think that he's this guy who's just like, oh, didn't believe in me. You're fucked, buddy. I would like to think that this almighty God who knows everything has or the like, ability oh, to put his ego man aside. Who, like men, guess what? Burn <laughs> for eternity. Like that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, dude, we can we can get into real <laughs> hypotheticals, man. What if what if higher beings are essentially like like you and I? They have consciousness, right? Except they just have this power that's better than everything that we've ever imagined, and we're the lesser beings, and they can set the standard. No Assassin's Creed what. type situation. Oh, dude, I think about that. Like, there. What if there's like multiple yeah. gods, and then there's also like demigods that are like less powerful than gods, but still way more powerful than a human. Like, what the fuck is out there, man? Yeah. It's interesting. And and you, you see a lot of uh, very successful people uh, put their faith in God, but I think a lot of it has to do with themselves. And I think a lot of very successful people are fucking insane in the, in the fact that like they're so obsessed and dedicated with their work that they're so they know everything about their line of thinking. So like, if you take an example, like Kanye West, He's absolutely nuts. He's absolutely gotcha. crazy. But that's his fucking superpower. That like <laughs> feeds into it. That's part of it. That's he quoted part him of directly why he's such like a genius. <laughs> it's like a lot of those old composers like Mozart and shit, like they were fucking nutty. Yeah. They were like sure. outcasts of society. Ooh. Quote from Kanye, name one genius that ain't crazy. I mean, yeah, there's people that did some crazy stuff. <laughs> that's how they thought about all that crazy stuff like think about it wasn't it uh einstein who like drank mercury like you gotta be crazy to think of something you. like revolutionary yeah, yeah. right you, do. you gotta you think really outside do. the box man yeah you gotta be yeah. a little nuts to, in order to change the world uh because within this world there's so many things that try to push you into boxes um and right they and, try to get you to just go with the flow go with the fucking crowd like we got to remember what's popular is not always right. And what's right is not always popular. Just I had popping, a poster. Doesn't mean. 
hang like that in my fourth grade class and i remember that every single time so did i <laughs> that's like the realest poster i ever saw i don't remember any other posters that were hanging in my like elementary and middle <laughs> school classrooms but oh no that the, shit for some reason Wayne that Gretzky like resonated one? with me so hard i'm like yeah man i'm gonna go against the grain i'm gonna go against the norm like fucking right. revolution up in here do you have the wayne gretzky <laughs> yeah. one like <laughs> you you miss a hundred percent shot a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Michael Scott, one of those. Is that, that is that Gretzky or Jordan? That's Wayne Gretzky. That was a Wayne, yeah, Gretzky. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne yeah. Gretzky. Um. Okay. Let me. Let me. This is definitely just a, a complete one eighty. Um. I wanted to bring this up. I don't know if any of you ever played it, dude. I wanted to try the Mass Effect games, like super super hard. Right. They're I've so heard outdated. Good things. They're so I've outdated. Heard, They're I've so heard outdated. good things. I tried the first one, and let me say, like you all just said, extremely outdated. Yeah, honestly, if I'm going for a extremely series like that outdated. at this point, I try it's to go Bioshock. with like the last game that came out Bioshock's or the second good. to last game that came out. Like play three or play Andromeda, and I think you'll be in a good position. Andromeda's not that old. It's wasn't wasn't it's that like 2018 or am I crazy? It's, it's, not, it's not the fact that it's old. It's just that that game is just not good storytelling wise i mean yeah that one was garbo wise, that one was hot but, garbo but i played three three was really good i would suggest that honestly okay, okay. i've been wanting two to play and that three shit, man. even i'd even suggest two twos if you complain about one two is probably going to be a little outdated for you but two is really good yeah. that's why the trilogy that i like to play is always the bioshock series they're always a lot funner oh my god bioshock felt like ahead <laughs> of its time I feel like it's that wasn't like greatly. it wasn't like the most triple A blowout popular series ever, but the games like gameplay wise and even graphics Beautiful. wise, I, I have those games. The time I gotta get out. into it. Like Bioshock Infinite it. was so fucking beautiful. Bioshock Infinite was one of the best games that I played. It's one of the first games Such that I got. Such a beautiful when world, I had, um, dude. I love that world. Wonderful. I wanted to live in it. It was so gorgeous. And the not storytelling, really. that the ending that they had, for those of you who haven't played it, I'm not going to try to spoil it, but the ending of that game, it deals heavily with like physics and like like theories and shit like that. It's very deep. And like the literally deep. the last words of the game deep. like blow your fucking mind. I go deep, dude. I always go deep. They, they fucking go real deep. How deep in the village can you go? All the way, all the way to the king. We talking torches, pitchforks. Oliver, what kind of uh, what kind of topics did you uh, present tonight? I mean, I had the dick conversation one in the beginning. <laughs> I said it. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. You do, man. Kind of, that doesn't count. After that, uh, you're off the hook. I mean, I, I'm usually the one that has prepared topics. Um, <laughs> what did you name? No. What did you name your dick? Is not a topic, by the way. That is a one-word <laughs> answer, no matter how you spell it. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Do you want you to guys hear? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I actually, I actually have one. I forget what area this was, but you, it was. Um, do you guys see about the metal like object they found? Oh, the obelisk. Like, yeah, that was yeah. in Utah. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was in Utah. Random, yeah, the random metal yeah. obelisk. The the yeah. jewel. Yeah. 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 The big <laughs> alien jewel. Would you take a hit oh, of the alien? Then, yeah, like a week later, like they people hikers went back like a week later and it was gone. They and then saw, I just they saw it. something like it reappeared somewhere else. Dude, this um, is like an art exhibit or something. Some artist is like fucking with us. Yeah. Like that's all it is. Like I said, I believe in everything, and this is just it's it's nothing. It's a fucking metal bar in the desert. What is it? You know what? They they should actually Bars. test to see what kind of metal that is. Test the metal. If it's Adamantium. something crazy, if it's something crazy, <laughs> some X Men shit, then hey, there you go. It it's going to be the first time it's like the, that it thing wouldn't... from uh, Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell and all that, where you put your hands on it and you automatically get auto tune. We should just like, pull a classic America and just you blow touch it, it you up turn and gay. Be done with. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that the government put something somewhere and then tried to cover it up. So yeah. You mean this dude? Dude, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah, seriously. If you guys want something really interesting to read that will blow your fucking mind, look at the UFO shit that the government unclassified earlier this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, I believe shit. it. Wasn't there something um, like a year or two ago that I think Travis brought this up that like 
he said something about it where like a flying saucer like went over California and people were like, what is this? And the government was like, oh, we were just doing like a test drill. Uh, and missile the people test, were, man. It's always yeah. missile tests. So it's like yeah. a hypothetical test. situation, you're a fucking alien and you're here to observe the human race. What are you going to do? Abduct? Abduct. I would not. I would not abduct. abduct him. Maybe an I would. Answer. I would abduct like one person from fucking Push Egypt. Push him up against the wall of my UFO. <laughs> Push him up against the wall and probe him. How do you think? The, how do you think the Egyptians built the pyramids, bro? That's so like they probed. One no. probed in the ass. Dude, there was so much math involved. I don't think you know how advanced mathematics was back then. Comparatively not. to most other subjects, oh, it wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. Dude, if they could evenly place this this cut perfectly, object, also cut, cut perfectly. Perfect five head. Yeah. People were as Dude, people you. had the same IQs as we do now. They I feel definitely like people did. back in I feel like people back in the day were highly smarter than people are today. No, no, so they they definitely were. They had the same IQ levels. The it's difference the is is they dog. had lack of knowledge and resources. It's like yeah, you know. You know, yep. somebody who excels back in the 1980s didn't have the fucking internet. Maybe there was like this basic version of the internet, but they still fucking crushed it. They still took advantage of things and re they opportunities. Had, when yeah, they that's fair. So like we yep. come up with what we come up to with today because so many things have already been come up with. We're just building off that. Yeah, yep. exactly. So people yep. still had the same IQ level. So they 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 figured these things out and they made it happen. But like, if you're an alien. And you are coming to Earth to like check shit out. You you start, uh, and I assume if you're a fucking alien, you've came during the Egyptians because uh, human history is like a blink of an eye when it comes down to the the scale of the universe as far as history goes. What are you gonna do? I'm not gonna keep coming back if I'm not gonna fuck with Earth at first. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna keep coming back. It's not useful to me. Will we even be able to fuck with their shit? Like, will we have the type of weaponry to fuck with their ships? <laughs> yeah. Great little yeah, dick. Mm -hmm. dick. Shout out, little dick. Yeah. Little dick. <laughs> Why yeah, are we Brandon. shouting Brandon out in the middle yeah, of the show? Yeah, talking about Brandon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Little dick. laughs> Three inches. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> boy. Skinny penis. I had a girl tell me boy. recently that I had small dick energy after we hooked up, and she was like, wow, you really surprised me. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Wow. <laughs> what she got to that point <laughs> thinking you had small dick energy and still that's went a, with it. That's like a back, it's like a backhanded compliment. And then told you about it? What is this? <laughs> what kind of power move it. is this? You didn't have enough weaponry to fuck with your ship. I'm just <laughs> yeah, probably. Would they be like, "Damn, Brandon, go hard"? <laughs> yeah. Would they be like, "Damn, Brandon, go hard"? Yeah. Oh man. Or is it just another conquest? <laughs> it is for Will. I think it is oh, for me. Let's go. playing the game. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> 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 oh my god fully degenerated we gotta end this band kids be like we have we have five more minutes we have five more minutes five band more minutes kids be like five more minutes let's just full degenerate for the pet for the last five minutes we've been playing a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing a lot of christmas music at uh fucking at, at my workplace and then it's been getting to but is it boost mobile music like christmas and all i could think about was that fucking autistic kid on <laughs> on vine it's beginning to look a lot like christmas i fucking hate you so my Are girlfriend we? changed her alarm a few weeks ago probably and it's that she changed to one of the default alarms that's like the christmas bells it's like do 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 oh no Oh, I hate that. So every single morning, it reminds me of the fucking ah. intro to the Mariah Carey song. I'm in the shower like, Damn, you're pretty good, bro. You might get a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa. Is that Mariah? 
Mariah, Mariah Carey is gonna pop up in our Google Docs. She's That's gonna set up a Google Mariah. Docs for us. Oh, Mariah okay. Carey is gonna be like that BJ though. Speaking of holidays, <laughs> speaking of <laughs> OMG. Sp- speaking of holidays, speaking of holidays. First of all, how was you guys Thanksgiving? I gotta ask. I didn't. I didn't talk Fucking to you guys. It was really I gotta hear. I gotta hear. So I, I, my birthday. I became an old man. It was actually Dude. kind of fire because birthday. COVID Mary, like Mary. kept us Happy birthday, with our huge extended family. Yeah. 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 I get it. Like, I, uh, I'm not gonna no, lie, I, they annoy me sometimes. So I like I, being with like my parents and my grandma. That's true. I get it. I get that's it. Fair. I had I, um, uh, I had all my siblings flying from Nevada, and it was fun. It was a good time. All the siblings back together. State. Yeah. West Coast. Let's go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> almost. Coast. So I yeah. went to my dad's house, um, and uh, I I fucking shout out to dad. Shout out. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, we really didn't do much. We just had like the big old Thanksgiving dinner with just myself and my grandparents. And you Jesus. know, they, uh, not really. Oh, okay. My he's stomach was easy. acting up. He's, he's kind of an old man now. He can't go hard anymore. Yeah, I, I wanted. I dude, really wanted to go hard. Mixed with rum, it was fucking awesome. That sounds great. I'm sorry, y'all. I get. I got fucking. Obli- I really don't remember a lot of things. <laughs> dude, I got. I got really obliterated. That's the way, dude. That's the way. I feel yeah. that. Same. That is the I way. Had. I probably had eight or ten drinks. I know what that's from. I probably had eight or ten drinks every day. I, was <laughs> I know that's from. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow, good job. Um, <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> good job. All right. All right. Next question, final question. Um, what's your, what's the best Christmas song? What's the best Christmas? Mariah Carey, all one, I for yeah. Christmas is you. One correct answer. Yeah. One correct that answer. one goes way too hard. That and rocking around that the one Christmas stupid. tree. Nah, dude, no, probably. Yes. No so, way up north no where up. the air gets cold. Old Saint There's Nick. a tale about Christmas that you both. What's yeah. that really rapey Saint one? Nick. Probably go. the rapey Old one's Saint the best. Nick. It's It'll probably I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. No, oh, dude. Man, yeah. Oliver, man, Oliver, man, Oliver. Christmas <laughs> is my two front teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, the best one is definitely besides the Mariah Carey one is the really rapey one, dude. Baby, it's cold I outside. Actually, yeah, that Maybe. one's fire. Or, or uh, uh, fire. what's the one? What's the one like also driving the in a one horse sleigh? Christmas, dude. I'm that was black. No, oh, dude. What? Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> no, wow. Travis. I rem- speaking <laughs> of <wrong>. cringe <laughs> moments from the Google Doc earlier ago, I remember Travis in our fucking dorm room singing uh, that that fucking rapey version of that Anna Christmas baby. song. No, no, dude. He was like, "I want to go away," and then this other girl was like Baby's singing it with him. Cold outside. <laughs> I told you, dude, this, the, the, the knowing every song trick song. comes in handy. All the time, all right. All the time. You know what's like? Like an elf, you're singing in the shower. Someone I pulls wish up. I knew how to break to... the spell. I'll take your hand. Your hair it's looks best well. I, I'm one. I'm learning uh, grown up fairy tales right now. I think I'm f- through the first part uh, of Been Taylor's there, done part, that, baby. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I learned a lot first, and then I learned Chance's verse. Which Morgan knows by yeah, heart. Yeah, Taylor's Taylor's verse is like a minute and fifteen second verse. It's ridiculous. You gotta take that shit by chunks. You it's, gotta take it by chunks. You gotta know when to breathe. You gotta know yep. when you can take a breath yep. in that verse. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's that's some of the hardest uh, hardest things to learn. Smoke whenever you're learning a song. Up. Till coffee and donut. His paper pill popping. Yeah, high key. That favorite moment. hardest song for me to learn for whatever reason is three thousand five get by Gambino. Good song. And also a lot by Logic. Oh, thought you were gonna say a lot by Twenty One Savage. Yeah, that one, no. that one I just got. I just got J Cole's part on that one, bro. Got it, the, the past time. I, next tough. time I, I see perfectly. you, we gotta go. I'm we so gotta do that shit. <laughs> How many fake these dreams? Getting a place for memes. I don't want no more Some Emmy make millions. Other Emmy make memes. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'll hike it. So, like, I, I've told you about this before, but like, everybody around me in their car is like miserable as shit. And then a lot comes on, and I'm just like, <gasps> yeah. Yep. I want to know, though, why is the, why is the like third verse from 21 Savage that's on YouTube not in the Spotify version of the song? It's like, fire. I'm it was, it's so good. It's the best verse by him. 
Yeah, it's really Interesting. good. Interesting. Anyway, guys, um, so I, I guess this is the end of the show. I don't know how long this episode is going to be because, uh, to be quite frank, we have to cut like half of it. Yeah, we got to cut. According a lot. to them, according to them, I think we should keep it off. I think it's perfect. Uh, it doesn't affect you. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I know right, we it can't keep you. it off. I'm just I know saying what I think. <laughs> you should, I, you hey, should keep I'll, it I'll, lot. I'll be, be happy with whatever result happens. I think I'll, I'll create an unlisted link of like the full show. That way, I can send the real people the full thing. How much did Brandon cut? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Oh, cut that part! Cut that part! Now cut we have to cut that. that. Now we have to cut yeah, that. Good job. Like, now you gotta edit more, you stupid bitch. Uh, <laughs> and you did that yourself, so fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was me. Anyway, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and make sure that you submit some topics. We haven't checked that email in a bit, but I'm sure there's there's just a flow or not. Um. Anyway, if and the uh, bros said Will could get it, make sure you comment again. Follow up. Yes. Yeah. Follow up. Yeah, yeah, um, follow up. Follow up. Make sure you hit them with the best regards, like full Check email your type shit. DMs, you dumb very respectfully. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> very respectfully, the pillage village. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, make sure please like and make sure you leave a comment. Always uh, hit us up if you have to ask us anything. Slash submit a topic at drspinchubers at gmail.com. It's been Brandon. I'm Oliver. I'm Travis. And I'm Lake Conk. Follow me on Twitch. Morgan, you can you can say your name. Uh, that his his Twitch throw out just stunned me. Um, yeah, Morgan. <laughs> you guys listen you to have real to follow real quick. Sensitive guy yeah. hours episode number forty four. Here's to number forty four more. Peace. At-